Sofía Aragón, México. México. All right, we're going to take a sweep break, a 20-second sweep break. Everybody give it up for Ken Parham, the choreographer. Mexico is a writer who is currently scripting her first movie. This 25-year-old proudly overcame depression and feels deeply connected with quantum energy, believing people create their own reality. Mexico. Twenty-five-year-old Mexico believes her mission in life is advocating for the importance of emotional and mental health. She has published two books, one about quantum physics and the other about human empowerment. Mexico! Mexico! This costume represents El Angel de la Independencia, Independencia, a national monument located in Mexico City. The monument commemorates 100 years of Mexico's independence. She's filled with glee because it's nice to be free, Mexico. Mongolia. Mexico. Mexico! Will, how are you? Buenas noches, Steve. I'm extremely happy and grateful for all of you being here tonight. I'm so happy. Good. Okay, here's your question. Many contestants are nervous about uh, the final question. But you've said it's your favorite part of the competition. Why? Well, you know, Steve, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me that I was a uh, mother mouth, that I used to talk even when I was asleep. But now I speak for a living. I think Miss Universe is one of the most important female lead platforms in the world. And they're not looking for a model. They're looking for a role model. So in this round, I get to speak my mind. In this round, I get to speak my mind, uh, speak with my heart, and try to make a positive impact in the world. Yeah, you heard that. No model, role model. You heard it. Thank you, Mexico. Mexico. I became an advocate for mental and emotional health when I realized that through my story, people can heal. I wrote two books about human empowerment and have been giving conferences in different platforms like TED Talks. This is why I'm here and that's what gave my life meaning. Because I believe that if you do not use your beauty for your life's mission, then it's just an empty ornament. Thank you. USA. Mexico. I'm a writer and a speaker. I wrote two books about how to use science into empowering people around the world. I used to read books that my father introduced me to, different kinds of books about science, math, physics. I give speeches around the country trying to explain the importance of emotional and mental health. And I just gave my first TED talk in Tijuana. If I can use my life for really inspiring people, the importance of who they really are, my life would have absolute meaning. Mexico! Mexico! I feel powerful when I'm on stage giving a speech to heal people through my scars because I don't believe I'm here just to live, I'm here to become timeless. Making 
the impossible become tangible. Mexico, you're first. Please join me, center stage. Here's your question. Recently, many countries have seen protests in their streets. Some have led to violence. Is protest a positive way to create change? I believe in the cause. I believe in creating change. And I do believe in raising our voices. We need to be heard. And some of these protests are really powerful and they can create a positive impact. But I do not believe in violence because violence is always going to create violence. I really believe that what we should do is come together, raise our voices, and make an impact in the best possible way ever through this kind of platforms like Miss Universe, through kind of platforms like TED Talks, that's why I'm here, and I really believe that that's what you should do. Thank you. Thank you, Mexico. The first finalist with the chance at Miss Universe is... Mexico! Ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists. One contestant gives them for your final word, Mexico. Please join me. Mexico, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important thing we should be teaching young girls today. Steve, it's very important to teach young girls today the importance of their true value. We see so many perfection in social media, perfect lives, perfect bodies, perfect faces, perfect relationships. Nothing is that, is that real. We have to teach them that who they are is already amazing, who they are is already worth it because what they really are is not what it looks like, it's what they feel, what they act, and the way they react to the world. I believe a girl is worth for what she has to offer to the world way more than the way she looks. Thank you. Thank you, Mexico. These three may have given their final word, but you haven't heard all they have to say. Mexico.
finalists. Okay, Vanessa Olivia, here we will have some very big shoes to fill and a very nice crown to wear. Tall Goldhammer of the second runner-up for Miss Universe 2019 is Mexico.